Brother, good morning. Is it good to take D ball chest up and you're holding this and you're, then you're taking the biceps out here and you're holding those weights? They're not relaxed. And so you're here and you're doing the motion and you're flexing and you're controlling it. When you incline bench, do you flare your shoulders out? Do you flare your shoulders out or do you keep them at 45? I, when I go wide, my shoulders hurt less. Uh, Deadlift, contract the scapula for the entire exercise. Butt back, chest up, press into the ground until the bar goes above the knee, then hip thrust forward. I'll just stay like this. Let her get it. Let her get it. Oof. All right. I put up a bicep curl, and there's reasons why I like it, and Doug likes it. It's because Doug is really, really, in the last couple of years, um, taking my philosophy of range of motion and doing all this stuff to enhance himself as a young 30 year old that he wants to be able to do this. And so he understands that longevity is key. And so if you can build muscle, be healthier and do it for a long time, that's even more beneficial. So do I think the curls that we did the other day uh, with dumbbells is better than cables? No, not for biceps, not for just biceps. And so I see that a lot of young kids or, or just actually anybody and everybody just goes, hey, just do it on cables. Don't waste your time doing this. Now, here's the reason why we like it with the dumbbells is because you become something more when you're trying to keep your chest up and you're holding this and you're, then you're taking the biceps out here and you're holding those weights. They're not relaxed. And so you're here and you're doing the motion and you're flexing and you're controlling it and you're turning that thing, right? And you're holding the dumbbells. Now for me, the body, everything, the legs, the planted, the shoulders, everything, my head, my neck, everything is kind of tight and healthy. You know what I mean? You can, you see, compared to just going over to cables and you're just, you're just this guy. So I'm gonna try to show you and teach you, all of you, and I hope you guys get this, man, especially you YouTubers, because I think the YouTubers are really here to learn. There's reasons why I'm doing an exercise on one post, one exercise, to show you something different. I'm not saying that is the only best. That's not the, the only exercise to do. You guys have to have common sense that that's not it. I'm just showing you an option. But the options are really beneficial if you understand all the different benefits it brings to the workout. That has to do with deadlifts we did the other day. Jeffrey will cut that together later this week. Um, we did a couple form checks. I was talking to one of my one-on-one -on -one clients, one of my coaching clients. I, I teach him so he can coach and be a better coach. Um, and so I told him, he goes, he sent me a video of his deadlift. And I go, oh, you're dragging it up, not pushing it up. And so we really go into depth on the deadlifts where I want you guys pushing it up, not dragging it. And the reason why I tell you this is because I've done it for 45 years and I've seen millions of guys come and go. I have forgot great pros names or they existed because I've seen so many. And the reason I say this is so important is because the body is an amazing thing. But if you treat it like shit over a period of time, it's going to reject you and it's going to go against you and then you're going to be injured and that's it. So I don't want that for anybody, but I need you guys to kind of just at this point, understand all the aspects that I'm trying to give you as we do this. Okay. Everybody that is in on the Titan meal plan. Again, you've got to be on the Titan meal plan. You've got to put down the email that you're using on that. So I know that you're doing this stuff correctly. Okay. That's good check-ins today. Tell me check ins was great. Check ins was really good. Um, we changed, maybe one person was doing everything where I was happy not to change it, but everybody else we changed. It changed quite a bit. Um, so, again, I don't know how to say this more than I've already said it. You don't just get the meal plan, you get me governing it to make sure everything's always, always right. You don't get just the lean plan program 
You get me looking to see if you're doing the exercises correctly. You get me, the coach, plus my whole team to watch over you as you guys are doing these plans. And it's just up to you to just do the work that you're going to do. Check in like you're going to do and you get better. So I'm pretty excited about that. We will announce, I think, next week, the winner of our last Titan uh, challenge. So we'll, we'll get that up to you guys. We have Clay Guida coming into the house. We have uh, Kevin Nash. We have Paul White, the big show. We have Billy Gunn. Uh, we have Kevin Lebrone. Um, who else we got? Uh, Scott Mendelson's coming in. We've got Generation Iron is coming in to film. Uh, we got Kai Green that we're going to talk to. So all these people are available here for you guys. Please start putting your questions together to touch base with us to go over those things. If you missed your check-ins, there will be another check-in for you guys on the lane plan. Uh, but now I got to move on to everybody else is still doing power bodybuilding, which I love. Would you throw that link up there? Yeah. For everybody that's doing power bodybuilding, make sure that you're going to check in next Monday. Strength gains, pro secrets. If somebody is doing Titan Challenge 1 or 2 or 3, make sure to check in. Any of those things, you guys all get to check in. We're going to do our little Fox uh, broadcast um, post. What happened to Heath Evans? Keith Evans has found the Lord and moved to Texas. <laughs> Starting a church. That's where we're at. Um, no Dexter Jackson right now. He's doing a lot of stuff, so won't be able to team up right now with Dexter. When you incline bench, do you flare your shoulders out? Do you flare your shoulders out or do you keep them at a 45? I, when I go wide, my shoulders hurt less. Okay. I'm so confused. Why aren't your shoulders tucked? Do you mean your elbows? Do you mean your arms? You clear your shoulder. Oh. You see what I'm saying? I, I automatically. Assume. You assumed he was saying, which which threw me. The right I think you write that again. I don't think you meant shoulders. Does it mean like you're not like this? You're like that? You're, I don't fucking know. Do your shoulders are tucked. Yeah, I don't know. Your shoulders, your back is pinned together, so I don't know what you're talking about. Shoulders, completely lost. My arms are at 45. If I'm doing incline power, my arms are out. If I'm doing an isolation, yeah. So, Lee Haney. Yeah, we got to get Lee. I will text Lee right now. Lee, um, what did you just say right here? We'll get CT. Uh, Lee, CT, Stan We'll get uh, Craig Goliath. We'll get uh, Sadiq. We will get. How about Phil Heath again, guys? You guys like that? Uh, Deadlift. Contract the scapula through the entire exercise. Butt back, chest up, press into the ground until the bar goes above the knee, then hip thrust forward. I say. Well, that, that's a that's a powerlifting deadlift, yeah, but. There's 20 other deadlifts. So, who Love wants? Brother, good morning. Is it good to take deep ball with the Zanel? Love you, brother. Good morning. Is it good to take D ball? Oh yeah. Hey man, go rock and roll. Will you film that? <laughs> yeah. Go film that. Do a 12 week transformation doing that. All right. Yeah. Hit us back when you're done. Take me. Yeah, take, take me. David right here is my boy. Uh, he's been working on deadlifts for quite a while. I would say to him right now, when it comes to deadlifts, is next time he goes into deadlift, completely change your form. And then when he goes back in again, I would say completely change your form again. And then continuously do that until you find out what that movement actually is about. Yeah. Okay? Because what I've seen from him, and he's a great person in the Titan crew, is that he keeps trying to go in and perfect the one spot, okay. which which I understand, yeah. but it's been long enough to where it's not perfected. Okay, so now switch. Go to sumos. Let's see if this just naturally is a better lift for you. Okay, that didn't work. Let's go to farm boy deadlifts. 
Let's see if that works for you. Come back to me. Talk to me. Tell me where you felt it, where you didn't feel. You know, these are the kind of things I really hope all of you guys do, okay? Also, everybody, uh, I'm going back in for my next treatment of PRP. Oh, yeah. Let me know. So. Um, liked it that much. Yeah, I liked it that much. And, I, and it's funny, man. Everybody kind of knows how long they've lifted. Yeah. I've lifted so long, I forgot how long I've oh, lifted. Right. So we're doing the math. It's it's over four and a half. Uh, I would like to say centuries, but it's decades. decades. So, um, yeah. Wow. And you're not going because you're hurt, right? No. It's I am. Because some people, some people can't watch a full video. And they'll jump to conclusions <clears throat> and say, oh, my God, he's hurt. He's, he's doing this. He's doing that. Wow, pineapple's great. Holy sheesh. Oh, that's just straight pineapple. Oh, that was straight pineapple, man. Oh, that's super good. Oh, man. Woo! Woo! 